This is Ed Turner with the annual Bah Humbug Report on a nuclear-frozen, diplomatic-thawed, trickle-down, belly-up, atarried and feathered Christmas in the age of Pac-Man. Presidential hopefuls deck the halls, thinking it's Hark the Herald Angels Sing when the voters want only Silent Night. Senator Ted Kennedy gave his political opponents the greatest gift he gave in. Senator Gary Hart is learning to say Cuber, and Senator Alan Cranston won't reject a hair transplant. Senator Ernest Hollings says South Carolina is not that far from South Boston. John Glenn is giving out no-dose pills to his audiences. Others feared he was lost in space. All Walter Mondale wants is to be remembered by anybody and for Jimmy Carter to quit endorsing him. President Reagan hasn't made up his mind about running, but Nancy sent out 50 million Christmas cards just in case. Congress voted 214 to 183 to wish the nation a Merry Christmas, but Democrats predict the president will veto. Mr. Reagan says the states should wish their own Merry Christmas. Many governors say they can't afford it. The Fed has dropped its charge for Christmas greetings another half point. The bankers want Noel spread over five years with 30% down and a reminder that Chapter 11 is not from Dickens' Christmas Carol. Everything changes as the kids see Mama kissing E.T. The parents only hope if E.T. phones home, it's collect. Wyoming gets its very own MX system. Those aren't chimneys for Santa, they're missile launchers. Home on the firing range where the deer and the antelope glow. Politicians may give us a Christmas toll road tax of a nickel a gallon, which could popularize the one horse open sleigh. The U.S. Senate helps out the housing industry by giving itself another new office building. Keep it up and they'll be a partridge in a pear tree. And John DeLorean is not dreaming of a white Christmas. In New York City, peace and goodwill threaten to break out as young muggers help elderly muggers through the subway. Taxi drivers were heard to snarl, Merry Christmas. Pro football fans got back to privilege to eat cold hot dogs, overpay for parking, and take a second mortgage for game tickets as the Lords of Leaping returned to the gridiron and the owner king said, let them eat cake. Stay at home's got Howard Cosell. A Texas oil man reportedly wants to turn Rhode Island into a video game for his children's Christmas. In England, Prince Charles and Princess Diane invited the British press to the Tower of London for Christmas dinner. And Prince Andrew had his palace coup. The Japanese got carried away and exported their entire country to the U.S. this season. Even the new Soviet leader, Yuri Andropov, smiled. Smiled, kind of. From the always troubled Mideast, we learned gold is selling for over $400 an ounce, frankincense for $7.60 an ounce, myrrh for $7.81 an ounce, which follows an odd sort of report from Bethlehem near Jerusalem. The bulletin says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. We're checking that story. It seems unlikely, but then you never know. This is Ed Turner with the annual Bah Humbug Report, and the news goes on.